The leader of the CNMI was laid to rest today. His family, constituents, and dignitaries witnessed his burial and looked back at the life he lived as a public servant as newly sworn in Governor Ralph Torres and Lieutenant Governor Victor Hokuk prepare to lead the Commonwealth for the rest of Enos's term. CNMI correspondent Thomas Manglotnia files this report. The CNMI laid to rest today Governor Ilo Enos at the Chalan Kanoa Cemetery celebrating the life he lived as a public servant while mourning the loss of the eighth governor of the Commonwealth. Enos's remains arrived on island last Friday accompanied by his family and greeted by dignitaries from across the Pacific and U.S. mainland as well as countless CNMI residents. In a similar scene this morning, the governor's body arrived at Mount Carmel Cathedral in a motorcade preceding a holy rosary and special presentation by Guam Governor Eddie Calvo in honor of the friendship between the governors and their islands. I had an opportunity to work with him and Governor Enos came in at a time when there was, uh, again, a lot of uh, dynamism. What, he, what I felt he brought was a lot of stability. and I was just proud to work with him. Uh, I saw how he interacted not only uh, with, with Guam, but also with issues dealing with the federal government and our brothers and sisters and other governments of the Micronesian region. Calvo explained that in a time of great transition, as then Governor Fito resigned, Enos remained steadfast for the Commonwealth. Enos was stability. He was a man that obviously had a lot of knowledge uh, and was able to, to, again, bring stability to the island. Cavo was joined by Chief Justice Robert Torres, Archbishop Anthony Aperon, and several other Guam local and off-island officials at the viewing and mass of Christian burial this afternoon. According to Governor Torres's administration, Governor Enos began his public service career as a tax manager for the Trust Territory of the Pacific Islands Revenue Division and quickly moved up to hold the position of Secretary of Finance, a position which he served in under three different administrations. Enos also worked in the private sector as a former vice president of Tan Holdings Corporation. He was elected to office and served in the first Saipan and Northern Islands Municipal Council, including a term as council chairman from 1990 to 1992. CNMI residents recounted his lifelong commitment to public service today while still mourning the loss of a pillar of the island community. Enos was 66 years old. Thomas Manglonia for PNC News, Saipan.